Well, I've just come from a media conference involving CEO Mick Burke and Professor Rob Joy, uh, and I just want to reinforce the comments made by those two gentlemen. And the first thing is that today is a day where our first thoughts go to those who uh, have in some way or in any way been affected uh, through the history of past practices at Fisville. Uh, we know that there are a number of uh, CFA members who are suffering from, and indeed number have passed away from cancer. So our thoughts are with those people and their families, uh, but it's important that uh, the report is a very important documentation uh, of past practices, which in some way uh, answers the question as to what happened and in some way ask the questions, uh, why did this happen? It's important to reinforce CO mix statements that those past practices we see are unacceptable uh, and intolerable. Uh, and we need to take very firm action to move on. It's very important that we reinforce amongst all of the people who are CFA members uh, and their families uh, that our first commitment as an organisation is to the protection of life and the safety of our people. Uh, that is so important and we see that demonstrated in so many other ways. Uh, but uh, we, we are, have now a very serious report into those historical practices and we need to move on. Uh, I think what's very important in the report and in some of the independent reports that CFA has had from hygienists and environmental consultants, they're saying Fiskville is safe to use. We have of recent weeks uh, made the decision to ensure that everyone is uh, of peace of mind. We're only using reticulated water uh, from fresh water supplies for firefighter training. Really important that we emphasise Fiskville is not only a hot pad training area, we use Fiskville for a wide range of firefighter emergency management, uh, leadership training, uh, we use it for conferences, we use it for recruit firefighter and promotional training. Uh, it's used in many, many ways, as well as being uh, a very important symbol of uh, the history and the culture of CFA. We have a uh, firefighters memorial wall there. So uh, to anyone who is suggesting that uh, fiscal shut, should shut down, the first point we would say is there is no evidence or facts that would support that contention. In fact, Professor Rob Joy himself reiterated that there is no evidence in his report or in the knowledge that he has that would support Fistville shutting down. We make this commitment that on the evidence before us, and we have done detailed evaluation, uh, detailed measurements of the uh, firefighting water uh, and the grounds around Fistville, there is no evidence that there is any significant risk to people who are using Fistful or visiting Fistful as a trainee or a visitor. However, we need to move on. The report does indicate that there are some uh, residual uh, environmental issues and water quality issues uh, where we need to undertake some further investigation to satisfy ourselves that there is no risk uh, to the environment or to the broader community. Uh, CO Mick and the board earlier this week affirmed uh, that they will be following through and implementing every one of those 10 recommendations. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the board has identified with CFA management a further 11 actions uh, that we would uh, propose to enhance the management not only of Fiskville but also of our regional field training grounds. Uh, and generally our, our uh, hot pad training facilities. Uh, it's important that uh, Mick uh, has made a commitment that we will pursue the uh, relevant Australian standard for occupational health and safety. Uh, and indeed, that will underpin all of our occupational health and safety activities. Uh, and adopting that standard throughout CFA will be a significant uh, benefit for the organisation. I want to reinforce, though, that uh, CFA has developed a culture around safety, and sadly this was triggered by the tragic 
1998 Linton fire. But particularly since that time, we've made some strident advances. We've developed a safety first culture and program. Uh, we've developed a culture of uh, fire training, uh, minimum skills training, uh, leadership training, incident management training. We've uh, just upgraded our radio system uh, and our radio terminals and there is more to come in that area. Uh, we have significantly changed the design of our firefighting appliances, including a retrofit uh, bushfire survival uh, burnover system. We've spent uh, millions of dollars on uh, issuing protective clothing, uh, both in a rural setting uh, and also in an urban setting. Um, we take the safety of our people very, very seriously uh, and will act on this report to ensure that we follow through in the future with a commitment to the safety of our people and the families who might have been affected by fiscal 